welcome to sv union high school and junior college let's start with the topic number system what is a number system in our day to day life we are using this number system that is a decimal number system means the number system which we are using for counting purpose that is 0 1 2 3 4 like that and the combination of these numbers that system is a decimal number system it's a positional number system we already studied in our previous standard that is what is a positional number system it having the places that is the place value of the number system unit tens thousand ten thousand like that so that is included in decimal number system in our syllabus we have to discuss different types of number system like decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system all these number system having radix different radix and different symbols are there in a decimal number system we are using 10 symbol that is 0 to 9 0 to 9 symbols are using used in a decimal number system that's why the radix of this number system is 10 that is the radix of the number system binary number system in which we are using only two symbol that is 0 and 1 so the radix of the number system is 2 in octal number system we are using seven symbol seven zero to seven number zero one two three four five six seven means total eight symbols are there that's why the radix of the number system is eight in hexadecimal number system we are using the symbol zero to fifty means total so total number of symbols are sixty that's why the radix of the number system is 16 in hexadecimal number system we are not just using the numbers we are using alphabets also so in this we are representing 0 to 9 in number form and from 10 we are using alphabets that is a b c d e and f okay so we are using here alphabets and numbers now see this is what this is the symbols we are using in this number system and this is what the radix of the number system and this one is a fractional part okay so first we have to convert this integer part by using double double method in this 25 is divided by 2 so we'll take the quotient 12 then the remainder is 1 2 12 is divided by 2 we'll get the quotient 6 The remainder is zero. Then six is divided by two. We'll get quotient three, and the remainder is zero. Then three is divided by two. We'll get quotient one, and the remainder is one. In integer part, we have to write the answer from bottom to top. Then we have to convert this fractional part. So we have to take this fractional part zero point one two five into two. Okay. in integer part we have to divide the number by 2 and in fractional part we have to multiply the number by 2 so we are multiplying the number by 2 so point 125 is multiplied by 2 will get the answer 0.250 okay then we have to take this number into consideration that is the integer part that is 0 then this fractional part take took here 0.250 into 2 will get the answer 0.500 okay again we have to write the integer part then this fractional part 0.500 into 2 will get the answer 1000 1 is the integer part we have to take into consideration then we'll get this 000 so 0.000 into 2 will get the answer 0.000 we have to take the integer part into consideration till how this process is continue but we have to take this process up to three or four step okay and we have to write the answer from top to bottom so the answer is 0010 now we have to join this two because this is the integer part and this is the fractional part so the final answer is 25.125 that is the decimal number is converted into binary number and the answer is One one zero zero one 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 zero zero one decimal point, and the fractional part is zero zero one zero. So zero zero one zero. In this way, we got the final answer one one zero zero one point zero zero one zero, 
and we convert this number decimal number into binary number.